we're going to draw a gumball machine. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. We're going to put a lot of gumballs in it. Yeah. Yeah, you excited? Yeah. We hope you are too. You got your marker and some paper. Let's start. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Austin, we're going to start by drawing a big giant circle on our paper. And this is where we're going to put all of the gumballs. Sound like fun? Yeah. Okay, now we're gonna start at the top of our paper and we wanna make sure that we leave room for the machine part, the bottom part of our gumball machine. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna draw a big circle. And you know what? I can actually help you. You want me to help you with yours? Yeah. Okay. And then we can get the size right. So I'll put my marker down and you hang on to the marker. And I'm just gonna kinda guide your hand and I'll help you. So we're gonna start about here. We're gonna draw a big circle all the way around and then back up. You did it. Good job, dude. Give me five. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to draw that bottom part, the machine part. So we're going to draw two lines that come down. We'll start right here and draw a line that comes down. We're going to draw a line that comes down over here also. So two lines or oh, you're going to have a skinny machine. I like it. And then one over here too. Good. Now down at the bottom, we're going to draw a curve. Come down like this and then back up. And this is going to make our machine, the bottom of our machine, look more 3D. Good. Now, right here, let's draw another line that comes across the top. And we want to make sure it's curved and matches the circle. Yeah. And then let's do the same thing down here on the bottom part of our machine. Yes. Good. Okay, now let's jump up here to the top and let's put the lid on the top of our gumball machine. So we're going to draw a big rainbow line that goes over the top. Cool. All right, now let's draw another one on top of that for the very top of our gumball machine. Yes. All right, now let's put the little box where we put the quarters in. So we're going to draw an L first. We're going to draw like this, and then across. See how it looks like the letter L? So we'll start right here, we'll come down, and then over. And go up and connect yeah. them. Yeah, actually, and this time, we're just gonna draw a line that comes up. Cause then we're gonna do something different at the very top. Yeah, okay, now instead of connecting all the way across, we're gonna just do a short little line and a short little line on this side. Yes. And then in between these, we're going to connect them with a U shape, a curve that comes down and then back up. Okay, now we're going to draw the little thing that you turn so that you can get the gumball out of the machine. So we're going to draw a little rectangle right here, but we're going to draw two diagonal lines. So watch this. We're going to draw one, two, like that. And then on each side, we're going to connect them like that. So draw the two diagonal lines and then we'll connect them. One, and then another one right below it. Yeah, and then connect them. Yes, and then right in the middle, let's draw a little circle. Okay, now let's draw the little opening at the bottom where the gumballs come out. So we're gonna draw two lines that come down, and we wanna leave a little room at the bottom. Yep, and then at the bottom, we're gonna connect with a curve, a U shape. And then right above it, we're gonna draw one more U shape that comes around and back up. Yeah, right above it. There you go. Good job, we did it. We finished our gumball machines, except we're missing one thing. What are we missing? The gumballs inside. Yeah, we're missing all the gumballs. That's the fun part. You ready to do the fun part? Yeah. <laughs> now we're gonna draw the gumballs, but we're gonna fast forward this part. We're just gonna draw gumballs that are about this size, okay? and we're gonna fill our gumball machine with lots of circles. So that's why we're gonna fast forward, but you guys at home can pause the video to take that time to draw your gumballs. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, we did it. We finished drawing our gumballs and I love how yours turned out. You even got some small ones and some big ones and it looks really cool. And we drew some outside of our machine and you drew one in the little door. You did awesome. Give me five. <laughs> now, I even used overlapping with some of my gumballs, and that makes it look 3D. Some of the gumballs are in front, and some are behind. And that makes it a little more tricky, too. 
But if you want to keep it easy, you can draw it just like yours. Draw them all over the place. All right, dude, what do we still need to do? Color it. Yeah, it's going to look even better once we add color, right? Mm -hmm. All right, now this part, we're also going to fast forward, but you guys can pause it at the end to match the same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good job, man. We finished coloring our gumball machines, and that was that's got to be the funnest thing ever, huh? Yeah. All those different colors in there. Now, you did such a great job. I love it. Now, we did different things, didn't we? Yeah. I colored the glass on my machine blue, and you left yours white. And both are okay, right? Yeah. This is a little easier, and also I put a little reflection on the gumballs to make them look shiny, and also on the glass, and I added a little shading down here on the door. But you can leave that off to keep this lesson a little easier. It's okay that our gumballs look different, right? Yeah. Because what's the most important thing? To have fun. Yes, to have fun and to practice. Yes, practice. And we hope you had a lot of fun drawing your gumball machines with us, right? Yeah. Yeah, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, dude, we got to eat gumball too. We got bubble tape, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of bubble tape. Do you want to eat it all? Or yeah. are you going to split it with me? Here, we won't, we won't eat it all. You eat some of it. Oh, it all it's of always it? got powder on it, huh? Yeah, yeah. you, you want to split it? We'll split it. All right, yeah, you eat all. Ow. Eat it all. That's the most gum you've ever eaten, huh? <laughs> Don't choke on it. <laughs> Is that too much? <laughs> no? <laughs> you love gum, don't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the best. It's got powder on it. Yeah, I know. It's, bubble tape always has powder on it for some reason, huh? Mm -hmm. So we gotta blow the biggest bubbles we've ever blown before. I can't even talk, I got so much gum. Cause we're gonna try and blow a bubble. Oh, that's weak. <laughs> There's so much gum, huh? That one's awesome! Good job on your bubble! <laughs> If you had fun following along in this lesson, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the circle. Then you can click the bell to get notified every time we upload new videos. I've also picked out these two other lessons I thought you'd really enjoy. Don't forget to take a photo of your child's finished artwork and share it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter because we want to see how awesome it turned out.